Hi. What up? We just took, well, I took a nap. Evan and Goose hung out. Um, feeling better, yes. feeling slightly refreshed. Uh, is needed, though. We are. Conveniently enough, my sister lives in the same building. So we are going down to my sister's apartment to hang out with her and her friend stairs. Jack. I know, well, old building, loud stairs. So we might film, or we might film in a little bit when we go out to eat. We'll let you know. Stay tuned. We're at Tyler. my sister's, and she's on the phone with her extremely intoxicated Tyler. friend. And he's being really funny, so I'm gonna see if I can catch some of this on I camera and know. share it with you. You log with Bianca's sister, and it's gonna be all about you, okay? Bianca. <laughs> so, no pressure, just keep talking. Just tell us. There's some weeds that are looking at me and asking to dance. Are they tumbleweeds? No. And they're asking me to dance. And you know what the first thing that comes to mind? <laughs> that was a fast car. What's the first thing I'm that comes to mind? I'm going to wait for the motorbikes to go by. And I'm going to give that plant a hug. <laughs> I'm going to give that roadside weed a hug. <laughs> Seems like a good idea. I'm gonna take a number of me. I just fucking spill all over myself on the tires. On the tires? I never spilled all over myself. I never spilled so much by myself. If you wanna move over, yeah, I got that top shelf that you bug. Do you wanna get that nut? Yeah, I wanna get that old nut. Yeah, that's who can know me. Yeah, I just wanna think about old stuff. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Got a cramp. Come on, Tyler, do it with the beatbox this time. Yeah. Only by yourself, so nobody else but you. It was so good before. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi, honey. 
so many people. There's so many people. So many. We're going to breakfast. We're gonna meet my dad. Stoked. Stoked. We love my dad. I love Kelly. Big fans. Huge fans. Kelly, if you're watching this, we're big fans. We're big fans. <laughs> um, we're at a car show. We didn't know that this was happening. That's pretty cool, though. I mean, that's fun, right? It's a bucket of fun. It's a fun bucket. We wrote a song for you. It's a bucket of fun. It's a fun bucket. Oh, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Evan, what did you order? Eggs, Benny. Are you excited? Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. I'm sweating. I'm so excited. I'm sweating. Gluten free pancakes. Kill me where I stand. Sit. Kill me where I sit. We're jamming. How is it? It's so good. It always is. It's, it's my favorite place in Bozeman to eat, like anything ever. It's the best looking gluten free pancakes I've ever seen. I would agree. It's not super dense. So good. What do you think, Ev? Jam's killer. I'm like a fan. It? Fan of the jam. I'm really full. I'm glad I only got half of uh, the egg benedict. Yeah. Which is a good place. I ate the whole damn pancake. You ate the whole damn thing. No reservations. None. Whatsoever. Whatsoever. What are we going to do next? I have no idea. A couple in there last week. Let's saunter around downtown for a minute. Yeah, flat. And go from there. Okay. Talk to you in a bit. Bye! We're done with breakfast. I'm gonna show Evan my favorite place on the planet, and I'm not gonna tell you where it is. I'm not even sure if we're gonna film because it's Probably kind not. of sacred. Mm -hmm. We might. We might. We'll see. Oh. Stay tuned. I can't wait to see it. The uh the place that we're going to is also uh, something I'm a fan of, I guess I could say. Is it? In a way, yes. Okay. Um, the, the eerie piece about it is something special. I agree. Yes. Where are we? Uh, going to the parking garage? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yes, okay. Let's go this way and this way. <laughs> Hi. Hello. We are at an undisclosed location in Bozeman. Uh, if you recognize it, then cool, good for you. You also know the inside scoop on the cool spots. Um, Just don't give it away. Yeah, don't give it away for anyone else. Don't ruin it. Evan and I have been strolling through this location um, and having a very heavy yeah. life chat, I guess. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. We were just talking about that. And he's like, you know, I'm sorry this conversation's kind of somber and heavy, and I was like, why? We're at the right place for it, you mm -hmm. know? Um, and I feel like this is a nice kind of end to his visit. It's a nice last day uh, yeah. for him to be here and for us to spend time together and kind of chat about life and whatever. So we thought we would sit down and chat with you also and include you in the discussion. I'm not sure what we're going to talk about, but... no. Or how much we'll actually make it in. Who cares? Apologies. Yeah, we might edit, I time. don't know, all of this out. We'll see. Depends on how deep we get. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, let's see. I mean, what do you want to do with your life? Oh, million dollar question. <laughs> what do I want to do with my life? Um, honest to God truth, I would like to move somewhere extremely simplistic um, and not like have anything I guess no phone no cable no TV um, and just be away from everything I guess um, I have had this kind of idea that technology moves faster than the human brain can actually comprehend and it has uh, affected the way people think and view the world and other things and if I could somehow get away from that maybe that will help things eventually yeah. the world if not myself is Cabo the ideal? Cabo would be cool um, I don't think I could ever do it because you can't own land in Mexico uh, I don't know anything about that yeah, you gotta like 
lease it for like 30 years, but you don't actually own it. Mm. Um, yeah, a little villa on the beach would be nice. Walk and get fresh fruit and everything every day. Tacos. Mostly tacos. <laughs> Mostly tacos. <laughs> Just a slower pace, I guess. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know. It's a leaf. I thought, thought it was a, that was a I person. I thought it was a bicycle. <laughs> What about you? Ask me a more specific question so I know what I'm answering. Where do you want to be in 10 years? Oh, God. Um, 10 years. 35. 34. How old am I? 34. Old enough to party. <laughs> um, I don't have, like, an exact vision. I remember for the longest time I saw myself. I don't know why. I saw myself... In Seattle. Okay. I, I love Seattle. I was all about it for a long time. I don't know that I would live there now. In Seattle, in a yellow raincoat, looking fab, leaving the hair salon that I worked at and going to meet a friend for coffee or something, wherever, a friend. I had, like, this visual of myself. And now, in retrospect, looking back, I realized that all I was seeing was, like, my image. So I don't feel that way anymore, and I don't have that, like, ideal anymore. I think that in 10 years, I would like to be established as far as my career goes. I would like to be with my one, I guess. Um, whatever that looks like. I don't mean I need to be married. I don't mean that I have to have kids necessarily if I was going to have kids, which I would like to. I have like an age range in mind. Me too. That sounds ideal. Um, There's a certain age I don't want to have kids after that. Correct. Same. Um, I just want to be happy. Mm -hmm. I think I, that's what we all want. Yeah. Essentially, it's just getting there. Right. I there's a lot of things that I have in my life currently that I would like to possess in the future as well, and there are so many things that I would like to be different without getting into specifics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's my answer. <laughs> huh. Have you enjoyed your trip? Yeah. What was your, tell me your highlights. Give me the highlight reel. What are your favorite parts, favorite places, oh, favorite people? I don't think. It's been a whirlwind. Yeah. Abby was cool. I like Abby. I love Abby. I like your sister and your family and your dad and didn't meet your sister's boyfriend, right? Fiance? Joe. Joe? They married? Uh, no, they, they live together. Oh. Mm hmm I like him. Didn't uh -huh. meet him very much. He seems cool. Mm -hmm. uh, your dad's a really cool guy. Who else? That hockey dude we met, he was a cool guy. Connor. Connor. We're talking about you. Connor Dahl. Uh, our bar. And Plunk. But uh, this place actually, I think, is my favorite. Mine too. One hundred percent. Mine too. <laughs> it's uh, well, I'm never usually at a loss for words, so I apologize. <laughs> it's special, I can tell, to you. Mhm. Mm and uh, the fact that you bring me here means a lot. Of course, I brought you here, Ev. You. And uh, seeing you was all right. It was all right. Mediocre at best. Boring. No. So boring. Anything but. <laughs> Anything but. I, uh, I had a really good time. It's beautiful town, beautiful city. Um, a lot of really nice people. I miss that about Montana significantly. Um, the speed at which people move here is a lot different than in Portland and uh, people still hold doors open for people and look you in the eye when you're talking to them and when you're crossing the street they'll nod at you uh -huh. it's just something lost where I live Yeah. and uh, it's nice to be back where it is well Bozeman's glad to have you I'm glad to be here I'm so glad you came me too I'm not sure what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Probably kick it. Mm -hmm. 
I'm down. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. Can I kick it? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> <sighs> okay, we're going <clears> to <throat> proceed on with our <clears throat> scenic Bozeman tour. <coughs> don't die on me. I'm trying. <laughs> Maybe the place to do it, but don't do it. <laughs> I don't know if they heard me. If anywhere, they heard you, but they don't, well, they probably figured out where we're at by now. I said it pretty quietly. It's also dead silent where we're at, like, minus birds and leaves. That was incredible word choice. What? What did I say? Dead silent. <laughs> I didn't mean to. No, I wasn't talking <laughs> shit. I'm being honest. That worked out perfectly. That's fair. I'm a big fan of the vocab. Thank you. I'm a big fan of having an extensive and colorful lexicon. It's a dying trait. It is. People don't care about words. No. You should. Read a book, friends. Robin Williams said it best in Dead Poet Society. The English language was made to romanticize. Don't quote me on that. It, not taken verbatim, but... place is doing something to us. <laughs> Do you believe in ghosts? Spirits? So I have lots of theories on this. Um, for a long time, I think my mom gave me this idea. Uh, for a long time, I thought that like aliens, phantoms, which equals ghosts, mm -hmm. um, like all of these like entities that people have like supposedly seen I believe that you've seen them if you've seen them because I've seen them too um, or whatever are all the same thing it's just how you perceive, perceive it, it. Um, I believe in spirits I don't know that there's always going to be like a tangible shape associated right. with it yeah like and not everybody necessarily is one right totally do you believe in ghosts oh I've witnessed yeah I can't not actually in yeah. my opinion Yoakum's house for one. Oh. Almost got pushed down the stairs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that place was haunted AF. And uh, my dad took a picture of a mine shaft in England. And then when he got it developed, like when he took the picture, there was no one in there at all. And he had the flash on. And then when he got it developed, there was a white figure pushing a wheelbarrow in the background. <laughs> I'll send it to you when I get home. Okay. I have it. Okay. Um, there, I've just had too many experiences where I can't deny but I also can't for sure say because nobody's ever you know what I mean like, but hmm. and aliens have to be out there okay modern day absolutely aliens are real 100% I've seen it really Kalispell it's a hot house for aliens what? I swear to heck <laughs> I've seen some weird weird stuff my sister, Lo, has, like, some really weird stories. Really? Yes. Like, with witnesses, with, like, a pack, like, a full car of people who saw the same thing. Really? Yeah. Wow. Story for another video. Yes, another time. We'll have a storytelling series about aliens and ghosts. Aliens and ghosts. <laughs> Bianks and Evs. Bianks and Evs. <laughs> I, uh... I don't know what say. Well, it must have been important. It'll come to you. I'll come back. Okay, thanks for listening to us. Um, I don't know how much more we're going to film today. I would like to, but at the same time, I don't want to film me being sad that he's leaving. <laughs> You're not going to be sad. I am going to be sad. You're lying. I'm... Come at me, I dare you, bro. I'm going to be sad, okay? But we can't just... We could end it here, I guess, if we wanted to. The video? Yeah. Thoughts? Tater thoughts. <laughs> thoughts, like, with a U-G-H-T, not like a thought. Maybe, like a thought. Maybe this can be the second to last, and we end it with me getting to the airport. Okay. That might work, seeing as one of the first ones was... The airport. And then I'm sure you'll do some commentary afterwards like you did before. You bet I will. I know. Of course I will. Okay. All right. Thanks. On to the next. Thanks for listening. 
Bye. Bye. We've arrived at the airport. Yeah. We had a very long, quiet drive to the airport. Somber. It was somber. But uh, we are going to say goodbye. I'm so sad. And uh, it won't be the very end of the video, but pretty close. We're almost there. It's been a good weekend. I'm really sad. I hate goodbyes and I'm not good at them. So I try to avoid them, but I am so glad that Evan came to visit. We had such a good time and it was so nice to hang out with him and reconnect and catch up after so many years not really seeing each other and I just cherish him and his friendship so much. Spending time around someone and talking with someone and venting to someone who has known me as long as he has and has seen me go through these major life transitions and kind of seen me grow up and develop into the person that I am today is really cool. And it's really cool to have watched him do the same thing and I'm so proud of him and he's doing such big things. He owns his own cafe. <laughs> he produces his own music. He's, he's so talented. What a nice person. What a sweet human being. Evan, thank you for coming and visiting Bozeman and kicking it with me and my friends. If you wanna move here, you have a friend on every corner now. People love you here. Bozeman loves you. Bozeman loves Muzzy Hamilton. <laughs> Otherwise, if you just want to come back and visit, we only hit like probably 20 of my favorite spots. So lots more to do. If you have watched the entirety of these two vlogs, we filmed so much, we had to break it into two videos. Otherwise, who's going to sit down and watch an, like an hour and 20 minute long vlog? No one. <laughs> But if you've watched this, thank you so much. Uh, vlogging has been an absolute blast. It makes you kind of a lot more comfortable being on camera. It makes you get over yourself a little bit, which is nice and probably good for everyone. So if you enjoyed this and you would like me to vlog more events and outings and things in the future, please let me know in the comments. And thank you for following us around this weekend. Okay. Boarding in about 10 minutes, so... Yeah. Probably the last one. Uh, killer weekend. Here in Bozeman. It got real smoky today, which was unfortunate. Um, met some killer people. Ate some decadent grub. Had an all around good time. I uh, feel like I got the king's tour of Bozeman, as they say. It, uh, it's definitely a place I'm gonna come back to hopefully sooner than later. Uh, I just love the town and the people from what I've seen so far. It's a real special place and uh, keep it close, keep friends there. And uh, Montana's always home, you know? No place like home. And that's why I think I'm struggling to leave so much. I don't really want to. I mean, I do want to go home and see my family and my friends and animals, my cat, my dog, but this is a special place, and uh, thank you Bozeman for having me.